take a look at networking concepts. There are several important networking concepts, including protocols, TCP, IP, routing, routers, and client-server model. Protocols are agreed-upon methods and rules that electronic devices use to exchange information. Transmission Control Protocol, an Internet Protocol, or TCP IP, is an industry standard suite of communication protocols. TCP IP was originally intended for Internet communication, but because it addressed issues such as portability, it also became the standard protocol for Unix network communication. Two of the major protocols in the TCP IP suite are Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, which operates at the OSI model's transparent layer, and Internet Protocol, IP, which operates at the OSI model's network layer. To understand routing better, you first examine packet switching, a network communication method that divides data into small packets and transmits them to an address where they're reassembled. The path or route that data takes on a network is determined by the type of network and the software used to transmit data. In most cases, a routing table generated automatically by software is used to determine the best possible route for the packet. In centralized routing, the node is in charge of selecting the path for all packets. Distributed routing relies on each node to calculate the best possible route. A router is a network connection device containing software that connects network systems and controls traffic flow between them. A router performs the same functions as a bridge, but is a more sophisticated device. Routers can also choose the best possible path for packets based on distance or cost. A static router requires the networking routing manager to give it information about which addresses are on which network. A dynamic router can build tables that identify addresses on each network. In the client-server model, software runs on the local computer, the client, and communicates with the remote server to request information services. In two-tier architecture, a client, Tier 1, communicates directly with the server, Tier 2. An N-tier architecture attempts to balance the workload between client and server by removing application processing from both the client and the server and placing it on a middle-tier server. Improving network performance is a major advantage of this architecture.